What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. Back out in the shed. It is hot as hell out here. Um, and uh, this is another tool sent to me by the Home Depot. This is the Wiss Straight Cut Tin Snips. Uh, I'm not even really sure why they sent these to me. Like, I feel like everybody knows about these. We don't need to get the word out, out about these. This isn't something new. This isn't something people are unfamiliar with. Um, this same design tin snips have been around forever. I remember my father having a pair of these. They were all old and beat up. I think that was either before they put the serrations on the on the blades. Maybe it was a non-serrated model or they were just all worn off. I'm not really sure, but they always worked really good. And then uh, when I got into the construction trade, uh, this was the first pair I ever bought. Um, I have another pair in my tool bag right now. It's a little fresher than these and has uh, the latch actually intact. I beat, uh, I beat the hell out of them and the latch eventually broke off. But, um, yeah, 15 bucks, something like that, American-made, and uh, these are still good, other than they don't stay closed anymore, which is kind of, kind of, kind of sucks for the tool bag. So they live out in the shed here. I've had these, I think I found these up in a ceiling. These are pretty rusty, but they still cut great. These are the, uh, the green ones are the uh, left-hand cut. The red ones are the right-hand cut. I don't do a whole lot of metal snipping, but the, uh, the yellow handle, the straight cut ones, usually work the best for me. Um, so I got a fresh new pair now. There's the how's the there's how the lock should look. Um, there you go. You got the USA USA stamp on that middle bolt right there. But uh, yeah, if you didn't know about these, well then here they are, and uh, they're they've been the go-to tin snips for tradesmen for years and years. Um, I don't think they've changed at all. I know this pair is at least 15 years old. And uh, my father, like I said, my father has a pair that's even older than these. But uh, what I didn't know is something when I, I do a little bit of try to do a little bit of research on these tools before I review them. Um, they claim up to three miles of cutting, up three miles of fresh cutting um, is what they guarantee. And three miles, let's see, uh, a mile is like 1,600 some, 1,700 feet. You only get about two inches of a cut maybe max out of these. So two inches times 12 times three, there's how many times you can squeeze these before uh, Wiss will say, hey, you know, maybe they're worn out now. <laughs> but that's a long, uh, three miles, that's, um, I can't imagine, I can't imagine doing that. I imagine uh, gutter guys or uh, uh, duct guys, they might get three miles out of them after some years, but uh, the amount that I use them, it's not really that much, but... They got good ergonomic handles. They got these little stops. To keep keep your good firm grip on them. And uh, like I said, these are 15 years old, and these still rock. I just did, you know, I beat them up too much. I broke the uh, I broke the little latch off of them. Which uh, th it, this does have a different design. I did still have the latch. This latch actually hooks onto it a lot better than the uh, the old style. Let me look at the old style here. You know, it's still got USA on the on the nut there. But the, uh, the lash design is a little bit updated. And this, these are even older. AG, I'm sorry. I found these up in the ceiling, dude. You know, you left them up there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that lash still works. And these, I've had these a really long time, too. These both live out in my shed. I have a pair of just like these in my tool bag. And um, I might just give these to a friend. I did, I did ask a friend if he ever had a pair. And he said no. I was like, well, you need a pair, so, buddy... I'll probably I'll give them my ones in my tool bag and I'll I'll freshen them up with these. But uh, and they have a little hook there for uh, you could you know tie a lanyard onto it. You're working on heights, you don't want to drop them on somebody's head. You know that falling 50 foot down on someone's hard hat, it's not it's not going to end well. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Yeah, if you hadn't heard about these, check them out at the Home Depot. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, thanks for watching.